I was 15 years old, uh -huh. and my dad had a 54 uh, beige sunroof uh, with a um, coral red interior, and when I got to be 16, and I took my driver's license test, and when I got to be 16, he also had an Alfa Romeo Spider, and he said, you can have either one of these cars, and in his mind, he thought I was going to take the Alfa Romeo, the uh -huh. Spider, and I said, I'll take the Volkswagen, Dad. And he goes, really? I go, yeah. So that was the beginning of the end for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, for, you just did a real Yeah. Alfa Romeo. Yeah. Well, I called it an often Reparo is what I called it. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, for, me, for me, it was uh, kind of, it was a family thing already to start with from mm -hmm. the day I was probably born. Mm -hmm. to growing up. I mean, my dad had a 1954 VW, you know, back in the day and, mm -hmm. and grew up in it. Obviously, it was a manufacturer of parts, so there was always Volkswagens around. I mean, I drove dune buggies out in the bush in Washington when I was like eight years old, you know, and as I grew up and got where I got my driver's license, my first, my first VW was a 1958. It was my very first car, got my driver's license and uh, built a motor and tranny. It was a junker car and had to learn the hard way. Okay. And uh, did my first motor and tranny when I was 15 and had my first car when I was 16. Oh, cool. Yeah. Great. We were both doomed from early yeah, we on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were. Mostly uh, Indonesia seem, seem to have, have a historical from uh, parents. Yes. So. It's come to the Yeah, children. I will say this about Volkswagen. Throughout the world, when you meet somebody, they either had one, or their dad had one, or their aunt, or their uncle, or their brother, or their sister. Everybody has a connection. If you go far enough along, everybody. It's a worldwide car. And I yeah. mean, that, to, to be honest, that's what his intention was, Ferdinand Porsche and Adolf Hitler, to build a people's car. And realistically, they did. Now, some of us nowadays are crazy people with what we do with them, mm -hmm. but yeah, that was the whole thing. You, know? uh -huh. you can't live in this world and not know about Volkswagen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think it makes you automatically, but a lot of us in the time period that we're speaking of, late 60s through the 70s, we all had, we were all kind of hot rodders mm -hmm. mentality oh, anyway, yeah. and, and it's kind of funny the way we chose this little car, but I guess it was kind of a challenge, besides loving the car and the looks and the uniqueness of it, then it all of a sudden became a challenge, and people like Gary's father and other people around the world, some Germans, uh, the Krasa, Ottinger, they made parts, Denzel, those, I, we could, yeah, we could go on and on and on, but there was a real challenge, and we had a lot of fun racing 
V8 hot rods in the oh, early days. Fun so, racing. so were we and beating them? Yeah, oh. were, were we different? Yeah, and a little unique, but I don't know. I mean, it was it was somehow there was a certain group of us, especially in Southern California, which was a hotbed of hot VWs, who mm -hmm. were all involved in it. And you know, like I say, Gary came from a, a, a family yeah, of a father who was manufacturer, high absolutely high performance. Yeah, absolutely famous in yes. making not just parts, but the best parts. Yes, you, yeah. you got to make sure you get the best parts. The best part. Yeah, from Jim Burton. Yeah, because yeah. he was a performance nut, yeah. and he had that. I'm going to take this Volkswagen, and I wish I was, <laughs> probably not enough time to tell you the wild story about his dad and his street car and the dragster he made and carrying it on, on the, the roof top. of his car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So. You know, so yeah, and I come from the background of being a machinist and actually making the high performance products. I mean, that's what I did mm. as a kid. I mean, I was machining parts by the time I was 12 years old. Oh, I was a machinist, already working, grinding, milling, welding, you name it. Oh. And that's all because that's where I grew up. My dad was the cornerstone of, you know, the, price. of the shop is making high performance and reliable high performance products that work. And uh -huh. combinations that work, and that was his goal, and that's how I grew up. Uh, okay. Well, it's time in the direction. It, 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 if you're just talking about a number, I currently have a number with a car that's uh, got some wild and crazy parts that aren't even really genuine VW parts, <laughs> and there are copies of and stuff. Uh, and that is 996, 134.87 miles an hour mm -hmm. in my Super Street Chop Top car. But Gary also has a reputation of taking uh, the Gene Bird parts and a really, basically a street car. Stock street car, car yeah. yeah. And turn it into a race car and, and going running, out and running, and 10 running yeah, running 10 good 30 30. numbers yeah. and kicking ass in NHRA events. You know, I did it a little bit when I was young. And now I'm a crazy old man, and I like doing it because <laughs> everybody I race is pretty much about half my age or less. So I'm having a really good time with it. So, so it's you're kind of asking an apples to oranges question. Yeah. What he's done is fantastic. <laughs> what this he's old man's done, done yeah. is okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, mostly some have fun. done a fantastic yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> okay, about California look. I read on early 90s from PW Trends magazine, uh, Hot Fairway. Why it called California? Well, because Lane Evans of Hot BW's magazine made, made needed to name <laughs> the look. Because the look, uh, again, I think we talked about this yesterday. When we were doing our cars, in other words, just like anybody, building a car for you to drive around and to have fun in and to express yourself came to kind of, there was a sort of a special look. Yeah. Gary had Lord a very famous, it. yeah, had a very famous blue car mm -hmm. that's widely known. My partner, Greg Aronson, had a white car that's widely known. And I could tell you about many, many names in between. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Jim Edmiston, the perfect, of, yeah. And variations of that color. Sure. Uh -huh. and, and it was just a coined that by, like you say, Lane Evans, it became the cover of 1975 Hot VWs magazine, mm -hmm. and that was the birth of that moment, and been coined that ever since. Even though we'd been doing it for over 10 years, making this Prior to that. look of cars, you yeah. know? It just made it look like a hot rod. We, we just called it, it yeah, we just called it our, 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 our hot rods. Yeah, our hot, hot rods. rods yeah. Yeah. You know, the T-bars, the, the down in front, the down yeah. in front. It just made it look fast sitting there and had a look. We never called it that till that magazine. magazine. That magazine yeah. 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 Because on and that it magazine. Fits. It fits. Yeah. It fits. Yeah. 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 Because on that magazine, I read perfectly. <laughs> California have a specification uh, lower front yeah. and big tire, bed. Yeah. Small in the front. Big yeah. A lot of it came from the drag racing scene in those days gassers, you know, that you would see it. We'd go to Lions Drag Strip, lots of Anglias and Willys gassers. Mm -hmm. And most full-bodied race cars would have a smaller tire in the front and a bigger one in the back to control the motor and down for aerodynamics, slip through the air, you know, even though we're 
racing a wing, <laughs> <laughs> the shape of a wing. So, yeah, but you know, again, in general speaking, it was a look developed by a bunch of California guys, mm -hmm. and it has become worldwide. Yes, yes. worldwide. Yeah. Okay, how about mostly? I uh, I saw a Californian look. Beatles is fit on uh, early Beatles. Well, yes, early Beatles. Not, not, not uh, yeah, uh, want to call you want to call the ultimate in most people's minds. It's a '67. Yes, okay. that's that's the line. And yes. once yeah. you got to '68 and the bigger bumpers and the high back seats and the bigger and, tail lights and and padded dashes and all the changes that they started making, they kind of weren't our style. You know, I can tell you a little funny story about a famous guy, Rich Kimball, who puts on the Buggins mm -hmm. and was in a VW club, Newport Beach Volkswagen, okay. and in 67, they all, four members came down to uh, Chick Iverson, which is a VW dealer, mm -hmm. to buy four brand new 67s, and the salesman there said, wait, the new 68 is coming in just a few weeks, you're going to love it. Uh -huh. So they waited, they came down there, they saw it, and they went, ah! <laughs> so they ran around With the, the lot and bought the last four 67s on the lot and flipped coin for what color choices they could get. <laughs> it was that different. Volkswagen yes. made a lot of changes for, you know. And improvements. Yeah, and, and in the, the rest of the, yeah. And everything yeah. else, you know, the lap belt, you know, you had a whole shoulder harness now. Uh -huh. But they dash. lost the look. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. right. Yeah. It became too modern. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm a Pre 67 guy. Right I on. love a Pre 67. Yep. Uh, it looks weird. For me, <laughs> it looks weird. Uh, post 67 uh, built like a Californian looks. Some people do it and do a nice job. I don't want to take away from them. I've seen some 68 and 69 really that nice. they've done a nice job yes. with. But still, for me, it's not the car. The 67 is fantastic. For me, yeah. it's a cloth sunroof car. <laughs>it's not for me okay but again i respect the way they do yes, their cars of course. and they are more of a road race look they have more of a down all the way around all four corners wider tires yeah spoilers yes and a little more aerodynamic okay again if you're a cow look guy it's outside of the boundary of yeah. what uh, yeah but Respect. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. and it looks like a road race car because it has what I call the Euro look. Yeah. And that Euro look is actually very appealing, even though it's not my style. Mm -hmm. But I like the, the look of it with the fenders, the drop, the rims, the wider tires. And it looks more sporty. Yes. And I call that particular look my Euro look. Yeah, and they're a member of the Brotherhood anyway. Yes. yes. That's right. Yeah, folks. Are... I've seen some beautiful examples. Again, not the way I want my car to look. Yeah, okay. That's all. You know? <laughs> I always remind people, hey, look at that. And they go, well, I don't like it. Well, good, because he didn't build it for you. He built it for himself. For himself, yeah. So, yep. you know, respect yep. to it. I mean, you know. Total respect to yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's amazing. Wonderful people. Great skills, great craftsmen, and, and amazing stuff done here. You know, if they don't have a part, they make it. Yes. If they want a if they want a Carmen Ghia convertible, they'll build one. <laughs> and it looks as good as one that came from VW. And the number of cars, like when you go to Jogja, you drive around of course in Java and you see one every now and then, but not very often. But you go to Jogja and it's like, where did all these cars come from? <laughs> they come out of the woodwork. So it's amazing to me. Uh, I, I felt a little like it opened my eyes because I thought, eh, well, you know, a little bit in California, a little bit more in the States. Mm -hmm. And I was not really realizing that the world has really come around to Cal look and German or Euro look. and and all kinds of cars all over the world. So Indonesia ranks right up there, and, and the people are very, well, they've been very wonderful to me, and I've enjoyed my time. Cool. Ditto on that. Yeah, yeah. I've felt very welcome, uh, heartfelt, 
camaraderie, um, feel like family, mm -hmm. and and that's just what the VW seems to bring to the whole to the whole scene is just that bonding of people from around the world. That's right. The it's little amazing. car that could. Yeah, it's amazing. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, have you ever been seen uh, seen the VW drag in Indonesia? Have I ever seen a VW drag yeah. race? No, but I'm ready. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Uh -huh. Nope, not me. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, uh, there's a drag strip in Jogja, uh, in one eight mile. Mm -hmm. One eight mile. So, are they going to use it at the festival this year at all? Because two years ago they didn't use the drag yes. strip. Because uh, the drag is. The championship is on this year, 2019, and they're closing the, the championship is in Jogja, yesterday. Okay, so, but it's not going to happen this weekend, coming. No. Oh, call them up. Okay. Tell them to bring that stuff <laughs> back out, yeah. This will come back oh, next year, maybe. <laughs> I wish I would have known. I would have said to... Uh, oh, yeah, well, what, yeah, no, anyway. we yeah. got a job to do here. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No yeah, next question. Yeah. The best time for uh, Indonesian drag PW Beetle is 8.4 second for 1.8. Right. Oh, Not a class situation though. You can run right. what you brung, right? It's a uh, free for all. Yeah. 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 yeah, run what yeah. you brung. Free yeah. for all. Yeah. 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 Turbo car? No. <laughs> oh. Four barrel. Just yeah. four barrel. Yeah. yeah. Four barrel. Uh, it's, uh, okay, well, just to give you an example, I run what's known as a super street car, which is a uh, normally aspirated, carbureted car, and I run like 630 something in the eighth mile. Oh, one point, uh, one, one, in one eighth eight? mile, I run 6.33. 6.33. Yeah, okay. so, so I think that eight something is okay, mm -hmm. you know. But we have a lot of cars in California, street cars that run sevens, somewhere in the sevens in the eighth mile. Yeah. So, yeah. And mostly in for Indonesian drag racer, the problem is uh, in transmission. Well, this guy here could fix that. How do we tell That's you? Right. Oh, and, and, and I'm going to tell yeah. you that I bet part of the reason that they, the times we're talking about is I question how well the track is prepped because if the track is prepped well, mm -hmm. the times will come down, but the gearboxes will come flying out. Yeah, they break. Yeah. 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 I see. Because uh, maybe you have a tips <laughs> for. Anybody that jogs you, and we have this motor that wants to come about to keep talk with Gary about gearbox, huh? I welcome you. I hope this is out so you can <laughs> see this and know this. Come have a chat with us. I mean, yeah. you know, we're happy to talk, talk the talk. talk okay, you know? yeah. great. Absolutely. Okay, see them on Jogja Volkswagen Festival uh, on 9 and 10 November. Yeah, speak your language and so they really understand. Okay. Temui <laughs> mereka, Ron. Dan Gary di Jogja Fair Festival uh, tanggal 9 dan 10 November tanya apa aja tentang drag race tentang gearbox atau mesin mereka terbuka untuk diskusi. Oke. Okay. Okay. This is my friend question about the distribution. Distributor, mm, electrical uh, distributor. Okay. Why do you use a uh, platinum distributor instead of uh, CDI distributor? Well, it's a magneto. It was in the engine that we had as our donor engine, mm -hmm. and to try and find anything else right at this time and point is kind of going to be difficult. So that was available, the magneto. So oh, that's okay. what we're going with. And I might add that it's very old school yes. in terms of cow look, <laughs> cow look, you know, magneto, you know. Yeah. Nowadays, well, like I have a street car and I've got an optically fired um, distributor with a big box and I've got two-step and rev control, all the electronics in it, because mm -hmm. all that stuff's available now. And when we come to Indonesia, we have to plan as 
best we can to have the capability to put what we got together and find parts, and it's a little difficult. Mm -hmm. It's not, not like in California where there are plenty of places to go get a, a part. Down the street, the, yeah, yeah, down the yeah, street. Without any problem at all. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh -huh. It's back is pretty cool. Yeah. It's yeah. all look, and it's and it's what we had. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have to choose, platina or CGI? Well, I'm going to say for this motor right here and what we're doing now, I think that's a great choice. Yeah. It's a great choice. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I think that with this car, which is an old, old school. school. Old school. BW drag yeah, car. Yeah. This fits perfectly. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. And last but not least, if VW is extinct from the world, what car you, would you choose to drive? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can spit that out real fast. Real quick. It'd be a Porsche of Porsche. Some, some variety. Yeah. Yeah. I have I have a '72 911 S coupe, black on black. And it's a beautiful car, and if you saw it, you'd think it was brand new. But it's become too valuable to risk in traffic, so I don't drive it very often. But for me, a Porsche would be the next choice, you know. Okay. This guy here, who's a really died in the world drag racer, might take something, maybe. He went to the uh, pro, stock, pro, pro stock driving, driving school, school and he might take something, because he's very capable of driving anything, so he might have some 750 horse animal Dodge Challenger, Dodge but you'll have to ask yeah. him, yeah. I'm checking out, I already made my steak, <laughs> you got this. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you very much. Like, 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 the new Camaros are really nice, I have a new Camaro, the Z28s, so I like the, the new body styles and the uh -huh. performance with all the horsepower. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, that would be my choice. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you for thank this you. opportunity to talk the talk. See ya. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. All right, thank you guys, thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>